Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. So Frederick Vissera has spoken for the first time as the new Ferrari team principal, while Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff has given Lewis Hamilton and George Russell a warning as he gave an important update on the Mercedes W14. Make sure to like the video and subscribe for more Formula 1 content, but let's jump straight into the news. And we'll start with Ferrari, where Frederick Vasseur, as I said, has spoken to the media for the first time as the new Ferrari team principal. Now he did speak about a range of topics, but there were two key things that stood out for me, with one of them being about the Ferrari engine. Obviously it wasn't the most reliable in 2022, but it was reported over the winter that Ferrari have found as much as 30 horsepower by improving reliability. Apparently after Charles Leclerc's power unit failure in Baku last year, Ferrari ran the ERSH less aggressively, which is believed to have cost the team around two tenths of lap time. Now fixing this could restore the level of performance it shows up to Baku last year, but Vasseur has rubbished any suggestion of a 30 horsepower increase, claiming the numbers are a joke. Now 30 horsepower is a lot, and even though Vasseur has rubbished the claims of Ferrari finding that much through better reliability, Vasseur did say that the team have made steps in improving reliability following the disaster of last season. But at the same time, he did caution that while the team have done a good job and things look okay, it could be different out on the track. Now a second highlight for me was what he said about strategy. Like reliability, this was a disaster for Ferrari last season, and multiple blunders saw Max Verstappen and Red Bull take full advantage. So it does need to be improved, and I among many people certainly don't want to go through another season watching Ferrari throw away race wins. Fortunately, it looks like Vasseur is on the case, and is currently trying to understand if mistakes were down to a matter of decision, organisation, or communication. He said, you just need to have a clear flow of discussion and communication between the good people in the right position. It's a work in progress. Now I do hope that work's completed by the first race. I mean at the start of 2022, the team did use very good strategies and weren't getting spooked by what Red Bull were doing. So they are capable of making good strategy calls, and this combined with better reliability might just be the key for better success at the team, and if that doesn't happen, they could find it harder to hold on to Charles Leclerc. But let's move away from Ferrari and on to Mercedes, where team boss Toto Wolff has given more updates on the W14. Obviously this season is one where Mercedes will be looking to bounce back after a disappointing 2022, the first season in years the team weren't fighting for the title. Now bouncing and porpoising proved to be a nightmare for the team last season, but a positive for them was winning the penultimate race in Brazil. Now this was one of those races where Mercedes looked like they had the quicker car, and Wolf told Automotor and Spore that winning proved Mercedes are developing in the right direction. He said, At the moment, everything is going in the direction of things that take place under the bodywork. That can, and hopefully, will contribute to our performance getting better again. Now it does look like all signs are pointing towards Mercedes bouncing back in 2023, and if that's the case, it's likely we'll see Lewis Hamilton and George Russell fight for the title. Now the last time two drivers fought for the title at Mercedes was when Rosberg and Hamilton were in the team, with their rivalry getting so heated at times that Mercedes were forced to intervene. Now in 2022, Hamilton and Russell worked well together as they helped develop the car, and Wolf believes Hamilton and Russell have respect for each other, and were on par last year but he did insist he'll never allow another Rosberg v Hamilton situation. He added, We accept there can be a rivalry between our drivers, but this rivalry must never degenerate into a conflict that could damage the team. I would never allow that. I've never allowed it either. But what do you think will happen? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, take care. Bye.